moved on just a few days away from probably the biggest game in your career. Um, your thoughts ahead of it all? Um, I think it's important to realise that it's can't get the, let the occasion get the better of us. Um, so it is the biggest game of, of my career and many of the boys, if not all of them. But it's just another game, you know, like in the simple form of things. So I've got to keep that in the back of my mind. Remember, got to go and do the basics and make sure I do them well. Just re rewind the clock a little bit to last Saturday and the scenes here at the final whistle. But you had to go through a hell of a graft uh, on the field to, to get that uh, party celebrations at the end. Yeah, I think you're spot on there. I think you can. You realise the graft the boys had to go through by the reactions they had at the end. You know, I know there were some comments saying that there's a lot of celebration for winning just the semi-final, but I think they missed the point. I think it was just appreciating the work that we we've put in, and um, Rob always pushes, showing the emotion, and I think that's exactly what we did. And uh, for all of you, it's, it's a reward for what you've done this season. But looking back to last season, having got so close, there was a real drive from all of you to get to this this position and that top four again. Yeah, I think it's great because you always always speak about um, learning from your mistakes. Um, it's sometimes easier to say that than, than do it, and I think this year we've, we've, we've managed to do that. You know, we've learned from our mistakes, and, and um, we've managed to secure a home semi in, in that learning process. And I think that's credit to all the boys, credit to all the club and everyone that's involved with the process and getting us to this final stage. Saracens this weekend, you know all about them. You've beaten them before, they've beaten you. Um, they're going to come at you, they're probably the form team of European rugby right now. Yeah, they are. Um, you obviously know what they're going to bring. Um, the, the thing is, you've got to know whether you're going to stand up and, and stop what they're bringing or if you're going to stand down and let them bring what they want to bring and, and you're just going to watch it. So I think the, the important thing is being able to stand up to what they bring and also bring what we bring and see if they can stand up to that. Players have talked about in this last week or so playing at Twickenham before. You've done it in big game six. You've had that big stadium atmosphere. So it's not going to be so daunting this time for, for all of you going there. No, it's not going to be completely new. I think it's a different, it's a completely different scenario in terms of um, the occasion. There's a big stadium with a lot of people, and the guys have, have played there before. But I think this will be in a whole new level. But like I said at the beginning, is we've got to make sure that we treat it like we treat it every other game because we've got to come in there and do what we need to do and not perform miracles to try and win a game. And for you, the week started well with the England A call up uh, going over to. Your homeland, uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty special time for you, but you could cap it this week with a, with a trophy would be even better. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite hard to be able to focus on the tour when I've got the final that, I got to focus, that I'm actually thinking about. And it was good to, to get a few things on, on social media and, and get the call up, obviously. But I think the job that needs to be done is on Saturday first, and then I can start thinking about everything else after that. Let's talk about it a little bit though, but you've got a lot of teammates there, you're going to have Ali Hifa there as well, so yeah. it's going to be almost home from home. It's going to be very exciting, um, it's always nice to be able to take some of the guys back and, and show them what you've been talking about since you got over here, and um, it's be interesting to see them surrounded by guys that have accents like mine and we can mock them <laughs> instead of it being the other way around, because I think I've had to endure three years of that, so I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to that.